benefits of thanksgiving. Amen. One of the benefits is God sees you as a grateful person. The Bible says in Luke 17. Let's go to Luke 17, 17 to 18. Amen. Give me that scripture, please. New King James Passion. The Bible says, So Jesus answered and said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? Were there not any found who returned to give glory to God except this fallen up? So this, this is a story, uh, you know, about uh, the lepers that were healed. There were actually ten lepers, but only one, you know, came back to give thanks. And Jesus asked, where are the others? Jesus was asking, where are the others? So in essence, it means God, you know, wants us to be grateful. It is God's desire that we become grateful to him or thankful to him. Because you see Jesus like he was demanding. Yeah? Were there not, you know, were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? So God wants us to be thankful. Amen? And that's why he was asking for those. Jesus reacted. So it means he hates ingratitude. He also hates, that is to say he hates unthankful heart or unthankfulness. So we need to be a people who give thanks. Amen? Sometimes we used to say it is not African to give thanks. Just to say thank you. It's not African. Even to say sorry. We thought early alone there it was not African. <laughs> Amen? And that's why he talks of a foreigner. It's a foreigner. Foreigners come back to give thanks. But the children of the family never want to do that. Even in your, at your, in your home, you will see your children, they don't want to give thanks. They don't want to come and say thank you. But if somebody from out there was given a hand, they will say thank you. Is that familiar? Watoto wa nyumbani wanafikiria hakuna haja ya kusema asanti. Lakini katika ile boma mkisaidia mtu unaona anarudi kufanya nini? Kusema thanks. And it happens like that. But we need to we need to have that to practice to give thanks because Jesus hates ingratitude. And uh, he, he hates, you know, ingratitude. So he wants us to be grateful. God will take note every time, you know, we go back to him to give thanks. He will take note of that. Perhaps he can light, he will light that. Because it is through thanksgiving, maombi mengine yanafanyika, yanajibiwa. Ukiangalia Yesu, Yesu maombi yake mengi yalikuwa nini? Yalikuwa nini? Kurudisha chukulani. Ambia mweza kukua mutu wa kurudisha chukulani. Hallelujah. Number two, it gives you access to God's blessings. Psalms 100, verse number four to five. The Bible says, enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with the praise. Be thankful to him and he bless his name. Verse number five. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. So meaning that nobody can legally enter the fenced, you know, uh, property, any fenced property, except 
the gates are opened. Hakuna mtu anaweza ingia kwa mboma ya mwingine isipokuwa milango yenu kufunguliwa. Na milango ya ya ya, ya, ya God's court amen inafunguliwa kifunguo cha God's court or the presence of God is thanksgiving. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. So if you want the presence of God the key to the presence of God is thanksgiving. Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor if you want the presence of the Lord it comes through thanksgiving. And I sing a song and say I'll enter his gates with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. So you will not enter the presence of the Lord hmm, with a borrowed, with a, with a, with a, eh? without a merry heart, without a thankful heart. You will not. Hallelujah. Ni kama anaangalia pale anasema oh huyu hana furaha nitaashiria uwepo wangu. So you need to have a thankful heart for God to open or to release his presence or for you to enter into the presence of the Lord. So in the presence of the Lord you know is life forevermore and precious. Eh? Is life Hallelujah in the presence of God is who remembers? Eh? Yes, yes. There is a lot of joy in the presence of the Lord. Actually, in the presence of the Lord is you will get everything you ever want. So, and that's the reason why Jesus used prayer, used, used thanksgiving, you know, instead of praying. As we pray, we pray, we pray. But Jesus, when he wanted Lazarus, when he was raising Lazarus from the dead, how did, how did he do it? He said, Lord, I thank you because every time I pray, yeah, you answer my prayer. Amen. When he was, when he was, he was multiplying the, the two fish and the five small loaves of bread from a, a young boy, what happened is he laced the two bread and the five loaves of bread, uh, the two fish and five loaves of bread, and actually thanked God. He gave thanks. Amen. And what happened when he did that? Amen. Yeah? There was enough to feed 5,000 people. Amen. Without counting girls and children. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. There was enough. And the Bible says there were other 12 baskets. Yeah? Yamabaki. Iliwekwa pamoja. 12 baskets. Yamabaki. Wangapi wanajua mabaki ya mkate? Hallelujah. Mabaki ya mkate ni mkate. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Sasa unaona, what did he do? He only thanked God. When he laced, when he laced the two, the, the, the two fish and five uh, small loaves of bread, the presence of God came. And where the presence of God comes, there is plentiful, there is abundance. Hallelujah. And there was enough, enough to feed 5,000 5, men. Hallelujah. Amen. Those particular days, men were coming to the service. In fact, walikuwa wengi. Kushida hawa watu wengine. Amen. But if, but if it were today, you will tell me, if there were 5,000 men, then how many women were there? Maybe double or triple. If it were today, it was today. Amen? So we're talking about many, many people that were fed out of that miracle that came out of thanksgiving. There are many things and many miracles that shall happen to us after we give thanks to God. Get ready today. Because as we thank God, miracles and wonders will follow us. Number three, when you do that, when you give thanks, you praise God. Unamfurahisha mungu. First Thessalonians 5.18. The Bible says, to everything, ha, ha, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. When you give thanks 
especially for everything, then you are doing the will of God. And that means you please God by thanksgiving. When you give thanks, God is preached. Because you see, when you give thanks, it is also a type of faith. And the Bible says that without faith, it is impossible to please God. When you thank God, especially for everything, it is faith in action. Because you are thanking God, even even in difficult situations, even in things that you, you do not know what will happen. Hallelujah. Many, many unanswered prayers is because we do not give thanks to God in everything. In everything, give thanks. Hallelujah. Number four, God is magnified. Every time we give thanks to God, he is magnified. The Bible says in Psalm 69 and verse number 30 that I will praise the name of the Lord with a song and will magnify him with thanksgiving. So thanksgiving magnifies God. What do you mean by magnification? Magnifying God is to enlarge God, hallelujah, is to, englo, is, to, is to enthrone him. Magnifying God is to give him great honors, is great respect, hallelujah. When you magnify the Lord, the Bible says, I will praise the name of God with a song and will magnify him with thanksgiving. Being, magnifying God, extolling God, lifting and praising God. Yes, you do that with thanksgiving. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are just about to go there. The Bible also says in Psalms 34, Psalms 34, verse number 3, Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exhort his name. And remember this particular time when David wrote this, hallelujah, he was in a big problem. Alikuwa anafuatwa hali na sauri wakati ule. Lakini angalia hali imba wimbo. Hapadio Bibiria inasema na verse number 19. Many are the afflictions of Elisha. But, but God delivers him from them all. So it means in Psalms 34, hakukwa, hakukwa kuna chekwa. Lakini angalia Dawudi, alienda kumuinua mungu. Verse number 3 here, alienda kumu magnify. Akasema, oh magnify the Lord with me and let us exhort his name. In fact, alikuwa anambia wengine ambao walikuwa wanamfiki wanafikiria Dauti hawezi jaribiwa alikuwa anawaambia hivyo we eh nataka na vile mnaona eh tuinue Mungu pamoja haleluya let's magnify the lord together bana yesu asifue sana so it is important when god is magnified through thanksgiving Luke 1 and verse number 46 there's so, uh, this is jesus who said oh, this is mary who said my soul magnifies the lord that is after after hearing, after hearing the good news from the angel, eh? then she said, yeah, mm -hmm. huh? Mary said, my soul magnifies the Lord. So let's be a people who magnify the Lord with thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is a key to magnifying God. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm looking at my time. Hallelujah. The other one, number five, it brings balance you know, to your spiritual life, especially prayer life. It brings a kind of balance. That, that means, that means that thanksgiving, thanksgiving will help us to balance our prayer because most of the prayer that we do is, yeah, most of the prayer that people do is, it is, it is self, it's, there's a lot of selfishness because it, when you come to pray, you know, where to ombe, ile maombi inafanya ulie, ni maombi yako. Ile maombi inafanya utetemeke, ni kuuliza mungu kubuka mimi. It is a selfish way. Actually, I am not saying it's bad. Atami naomba nalia. Hallelujah. 
eh nikileta mambo yangu kwa Mungu nalia na ni sawa lakini sasa ukiweka thanksgiving you are putting a balance balance to your prayer yes haleluya yes itakusaidia uodoke kwa selfishness or selfish prayer inakusaidia ni wangapi wana wanaelewa vile mnasema inakusaidia uodoke kwa me i me and me my family my church my wife my children haleluya sasa inakupea balance ya kufanya thank una thank mungu unamwambia lord i thank you because of this far that you have brought my family inakupea balance so that uodoke kidogo amen kwa selfishness oh shamba langu oh duka langu oh biashara yangu Eka thanksgiving pale ukiweka thanksgiving pale it balances your prayer na utaonekana mtu ya me i my family my people my duka and my everything amen so thanksgiving is good ambia mwezako ni good colossians 4:2 the bible says devote yourself to prayer with an alert mind and a thankful heart hallelujah and a thankful heart The Bible says in Philippians 4 and verse number 6 be anxious for nothing <laughs> be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving unaona prayer and supplication will not work without thanksgiving your prayer and even petition will not work until you add thanksgiving to your prayer Hallelujah. Today as we pray, I want us to add thanksgiving. Hallelujah. And then when you put thanksgiving, you le- you you let your request no- be known to God. And the Bible then says, when you have done that, you are request that when you have done that, God will release and give a peace that passes human understanding. Bwana Yesu atimfe sana. Because thanksgiving is like thanksgiving prayer can never work without thanksgiving even your devotion even your application and petition will not work without thanksgiving and that's why it's important for us as a church today to gather together and thank god hallelujah and thank god because he is a good god and he is a mighty god i was looking at i was looking at my life i was looking at my life and and, and had a lot a lot to thank god for this far from the time i was born hallelujah you know at times it's good to reflect tell your neighbor reflect angaliaga because you see the problem is when you do not reflect where you are coming from you will see like you are in a great problem hallelujah you will not have nothing or you will not have anything to thank god for if you do not reflect If you do not look back to where you are coming from up to where you are you will think there's more problems that come in your life will finish you but they will not finish you hallelujah it is good to reflect unaangalia nyuma unaona vile Mungu amekuleta unaona vile corona mimi naongea tu hapa juzi unaona vile corona ilimaliza watu wengi na wewe ulikuwaga nao tu lakini ugari huko yani unaangalia hivi unaona unaona jaa hii watu wako na jaa unaona watu wengine wako kwa barabara wakisema wako na jaa na wewe uko na chakula una unaangalia una reflect hivyo ya kwamba kwa kuna wakati pia nilikuwa mgojwa na watu wakaja kuniona hospitalini na wengi wakaniambia tumekuacha na Mungu na kweli huyo Mungu akakutoa kwa janga lile akakutoa kwa moto ule Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana kwa hivyo siku ya leo i want us to reflect as we go before the lord tukaenda kuomba siku hii ya leo tu tukaenda kushukuru Mungu siku hii ya leo reflect angalia pahali ulitoka mtu mwingine ametoka 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 pahali hajui ataenda wapi eh, kuna watu wengi hapa wanakaa kama wanakaa kama Abraham father Abraham haleluya walikuja tu nakuru wakajikuta tu nakuru hawakuwa wanajua kitaumani eh, mambo yataingia namna gani lakini sasa si unaangalia unaona at least at least Mungu alikutoa pale kwa kusudi ni vizuri ku reflect na kuchukuru Mungu pale amekutoa na mambo ambayo uko nayo 
na saa hii ningetaka tuinuke na wakanakwaya waje hapa haleluya tumchukuru Mungu dakika hizo 15 dakika hizo 15 na ningetaka katika